Hello, I'm Komela Sutton, and today I'm going to be talking about Sun in Libra, which is going to be from 17th of October to 16th of uh, November. Now, uh, when Sun moves into Libra, it is in its debilitation sign. Uh, one of the reasons is this, that the Sun is furthest away from the Earth, so its energy or its impact is the least. Uh, secondly, um, uh, you know, this is the time where the light is getting weaker. It's moving towards uh, shorter days. So when we uh, study sun in Libra, every year, the sun will be in Libra around this time. Uh, and uh, hours and bits are different, but uh, usually from 16th of October onwards, sun is in Libra. Uh, so, uh, being its debilitation sign, uh, it, it's a weak sun, so it can represent uh, the qualities of the sun appear to be weak, like power, structure, um, you know, um, sun in Libra is much more friendly, uh, sun in, uh, when a strong sun is there, they're more uh, powerful, egoistical, can, on the negative side, can be arrogant, but um, the sun in Libra is more friendly, uh, you know, diplomatic, we can say. But this year, something special is happening because Venus is also in Libra. And I spoke about it in the earlier uh, video that Venus is in Libra and sun is in Libra. Therefore, Venus is, even though Venus is retrograde, it is supporting the sun and it is supporting um the sun to not be weak uh it is uh, um uh, bringing a cancellation of debilitation so that is a nice aspect of this sun in libra however whenever sun is in libra then leo be, uh, should definitely be looking towards their health and managing their health issues once a year it's a time to think what are you eating? How are you sleeping? What are you doing generally for uh, your overall health aspect? So uh, Venus is supporting, plus uh, as Sun goes into Libra, Mercury is also there. So it's surrounded by uh, two benefic planets and it stays uh, uh, there till the 25th of uh, October when Mercury moves out of Li Libra, but Sun is still there and it is. Um, uh, strongly supported, nice, friendly, uh, powerful. After, um, on 25th, there's also a Sun-Venus conjunction. Now, the Venus conjunction is good for the Sun because the Sun takes all the power and uh, Venus gets a bit burnt out. So Venus has to watch out. Uh, Libra and uh, Taurus have to watch out that they may feel a bit burnt out. But sun is uh, strong and then it moves uh, uh, towards um, finishing the cycle of Libra. So how does it affect you? I suppose the most important thing is that if you are Leo, uh, Ascendant, Sun or Moon, then this is the time when uh, your ruling planet is at its weakest in the sky. Uh, there is a Nicha Bhanga cancellation of debilitation, uh, but uh, still, we have to think that we have to make some effort to cancel it. It's not that just because it's there, everything will fall into place. So uh, if you feel lack of confidence, if you feel your energy is low, then, uh, you know, work on it. It's one month long transit. Uh, then that is good. Then as far as Libra is concerned, of course, it's hosting uh, the uh, sun um, in its sign. The other signs will get affected according to the house it rules, you know. Generally, when we are looking at these transits, the karaka of the sun, which is government, power, um, authority, sun is uh, the king. Those things are weakened uh, you, during this time. It's interesting that in USA, the elections always held when sun is debilitated. Somehow, you know, it's... Um, uh, uh, shows weakness of power structure. And then, uh, but this time because of Venus being there and Venus being retrograde, the sun is also 
uh, dealing with some uh, retrograde energy because it's the ruler of the sun. It's supporting it, but not in a direct manner, in a slightly un indirect manner. So uh, I would say that, uh, that, you know, if we are thinking about uh, doing something where we want to be powerful and strong, we should be more humble and balanced and see the other person's point of view as well. And recognize that not all information that is coming to you is direct and some things are not that uh, easy to understand. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy this as uh, I said before as well. I'm going to be posting short uh, clips, uh, almost like conversational uh, clips, uh, where you can um, uh, hear a little bit about the planet. It's not very advanced stuff. I'm keeping it so that maximum number of people can understand. And if you like this, please do like this post so that I get encouraged to post some more. And also, you can go to my website, uh, comela.com, and see all what I do. And thank you so much for appreciating me. M many of you have appreciated uh, my uh, presentations, and I've had a number of uh, uh, um, people who have uh, liked my channel. So, I thank you, thank you very much, and I see you soon.